What's up everybody and welcome back to another Tekka tutorial. In today's tutorial we'll be going over how to make an induction furnace. First things first, we're going to need to craft an iron furnace. We do that by just placing regular iron in the crafting grid like so. As you can see that gives us an iron furnace. Alright, so next up we'll have to craft an electric furnace. First up we're going to need to craft another electronic circuit. Some of you may want to pause the video at this point and take note of the items you're going to need over here in the left hand corner. Once you have them, simply place them in the crafting grid like so. And as you can see, that gives us our electronic circuit. Next up, we're going to make the electric furnace. Some of you, again, may want to pause the video at this point and take note of the items you're going to need over here in the left-hand corner. Once you have them, simply place them in the crafting grid like so. And as you can see, that gives us our, electri our electric furnace. I'll get the materials together to make the induction furnace, and I'll be right back with you. All right, so I'm back. I actually forgot we're going to have to make another advanced machine block. Uh, we do this by placing grinded coal dust into the crafting grid like so. This will then give us carbon fiber. Then we'll place it in the crafting grid like so to get raw carbon mesh. Again, we have to make mixed metal ingots. Do that by placing refined iron in the top row, bronze in the second row, and tin down in the third row. And just like before, we have to run over here. To our compressor, stick it in here, wait for this to finish running the, the process. Still kind of slow with the four overgrades. We only need two of these actually. I always make extra, I don't know why. I think it's because later on we'll be needing them to make a nano suit and the quantum suit. Alright, so now that we have those, simply run back to the crafting grid. Now we're ready to make our advanced machine block. Some of you may want to pause the video at this point and take note of the items you're going to need over here in the left hand corner. Once you have them, place them in the crafting grid like so. And as you can see that gives us our advanced machine block. Take a quick pause and I'll be back with you when I have the materials to actually make the induction furnace. Alright, so I'm back now. We're ready to finally make the induction furnace. Again, some of you may want to pause the video at this point and take note of the items you're going to need over here in the left hand corner. Once you have them, simply place them in the crafting grid like so. And as you can see, that gives us our induction furnace. Real quick, I'll grab a piece of this wire. Um, it's in one of these chests. And we'll run down here and hook this up. Um, first things first, we're going to have to remo remove our old electric furnace. Simply do that by right-clicking it with the wrench. Next, you're going to want to sever the connection here. So that when you hook this up, it doesn't accidentally blow up. We're running from an MFE. If you're using a bat box, you don't have to worry about having the transformer upgrade. But we're running off an MFE. So before we place this down, we will have to make sure the connection is severed. Now we'll place our induction furnace. Open it up. Make sure to put our... I apologize. It doesn't need the transformer upgrade. It's a mistake on my part. Again, just like the rotary macerator... If we put a redstone torch under it, it should gain heat. For some reason, it didn't there. Oh, that's probably because we didn't hook the power up yet. I apologize. So once we hook the juice up to this machine, it should start to warm up. And as you'll see, the power level is slowly going up. We'll sprint back over here. Um, we'll grab some some sort of ore we can just throw in there and smelt. Once it gets up to 100% heat, I'll come back to the video and show you guys just how fast this induction furnace is and how to use it. Alright, so I'm back now after about a 5 minute period of warming up. As you can see, the heat's up to 100%. One thing I forgot to note, just like the rotary macerator with the redstone torch underneath the induction furnace, it does constantly consume power. So you may want to keep an eye on your power levels. If you find it's consuming too much power, you can always knock the redstone torch out from underneath it and place a switch in front and use that as a toggle for it to be on and off. With that said, we'll go ahead and throw this in here and I'll show you guys just how fast this smelts. As you can see, the smelt rate is insanely fast. Um, you can smelt a, probably a stack, you know, two stacks of whatever it is that you would like in there side by side. In under 60 seconds, but that wraps this video up. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to leave it a like. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them below. Like I said, that's all I got. This has been Too Cold, and I'm out. Peace.